So in this lecture we are going to discuss how we can construct the LL1 parsing table for a given grammar. Suppose the given grammar is this T E dash E dash then rates plus T E dash or epsilon T F T dash T dash drives star f t dash or epsilon f generates id or e okay so this is the given grammar and we want to discuss how we can construct ll1 parsing table for a given grammar construction of LL1 parsing table okay so <clears throat> so the LL1 parsing table will look like this we have to write all the terminals in the top so these are the terminals and all the variables on the left hand side like this clear so it will look like something like this okay Now, how to fill this LL1 parsing table? Now, there are some rules uh, using which we can fill the parsing table. Okay. So, basically, we have to see which production we can fill or the place of, uh, place of a particular production where it should come in this table. Okay. So, that will depend on what is the first of right hand side. That means for each production we have to see what will be the first of this okay so for each production we have to find the first okay so <clears throat> let's do that so this is the first production we have so let's find the first of this so that means first of e right so first of e will be first of e will be first of t and first of t is first of f and first of f is id okay first of s f is id and open parenthesis so this is id and open parenthesis clear clear that means we have to fill this production in these columns okay so it will look something like this in id it will come e derives t e dash and in open parenthesis here t e dash clear now for second production for second production which is e derives plus t e dash and e derives e dash drives epsilon okay so now for this production we have to find first of this first of e dash is plus clear so that means this production will come in place of this for e dash it will come in column plus so it will come here plus t e dash clear now for this production so whenever we have the first of RHS as simply epsilon, then we have to place it in the follow of the left hand side. Clear? So, whenever we have epsilon in the first of, 
a variable then we have to fill that production in the follow of left hand side clear so follow of left hand side that means e dash so we have to find the follow of e dash so follow of e dash is follow of e dash is here in this production we have to see follow of e dash is follow of e clear so in the previous lecture i have explained you how we can find the first and follow of particular production so follow of e dash is follow of e right and follow of e is dollar clear follow of e is dollar follow of e is dollar and follow of e is this as well closed parenthesis so that means this production this production e generates e dash generates epsilon will come in these two columns clear so e dash will come in dollar e dash generates epsilon will come here and e dash generates epsilon will come in closed parenthesis column clear now now let's see the next production where we should fill that we have to see that now okay so now the next production is t generates ft dash so we have to find the first of this first of t will be first of f first of f is id and open parenthesis that means this production will come here in place of id in the column of id so it will come here f t dash and in open parenthesis so here it will come here f t dash clear now for the next production which is t dash generates star f t dash and t dash generates epsilon right there are two productions right one is this and one is this so we have to find the first of t dash which is star so this production will come in column of star so that means t dash generates star f t dash clear now now for this production we have to check so as this the first of this in this production contains epsilon that means we have to we have to find out the follow of t dash follow of t dash and follow of t dash is again follow of t because there is nothing after this so follow of t dash is follow of t and follow of t is e dash right that means first of e dash and first of e dash is plus an epsilon clear so first of e dash is plus so this production will come here in case of in column of this and as e e uh, the uh, first of e dash is epsilon as well so if we put epsilon here so it will become something like this e generates t only so follow of t will be follow of e and follow of e is closed parenthesis and dollar so here it will also come in closed parenthesis and in dollar as well clear now now we have to see uh, we have to check for the last production so let's see that so the next production is f generates id or f generates open parenthesis e closed parenthesis so for this as this is directly the terminal so just fill it in the id column the first of f is id right so this production will come here f generates id clear now here first of f is open parenthesis so it will come in this column here so f generates open parenthesis e and closed column so in this way in this way we construct we construct the ln1 ln1 parsing table for a given grammar clear so let me repeat the rules uh, we should place the production 
depends that depends on the what is the first of the right hand side that means the first of that variable right so we have to place there if if the first of right hand side is only a terminal like this like this then directly place them there okay and if the first of right hand side is epsilon then we have to place it in the follow of left hand side follow of left hand side clear so these are these are the rules for construction of ll1 passing table okay